What's up everybody and welcome back to another video on SAT Math from the Scalar Learning Channel. Today I want to talk to you about the number one mistake that I see students making when taking the math portion of the SAT. The reason why I'm telling you this mistake is because I don't want you to make it and I want you to do your very best when you do indeed take this extremely important test. Without further ado, here it is. The number one mistake that I see students make is they don't underline critical information. And when I talk about critical information, I'm talking about two things in particular. Number one, I'm talking about variables, and number two, of course, this being a math test, I'm talking about numbers. Now, of course, it's important to underline and circle information as needed to help you understand the problem setup. And in some regards, what you underline and circle is gonna be subjective, it's gonna be personal for you. But I can say without a doubt that it is imperative that no matter who you are, when you take this test, you want to underline all the instances of variables and numbers, especially in these wordier problems. When you do that, it's gonna immediately draw attention to those pieces. It's going to ensure that you don't gloss over anything or forget any key components. And most simply, it's going to help you eliminate silly mistakes. And here are some examples of some problems where I've gone through and underlined those key pieces of information, the variables and the numbers. And in this example in particular, they have numbers written in text. So those are the sneaky numbers that you definitely want to make sure to highlight. You have to keep in mind that some of these questions with their answer choices are designed specifically to lead you down an incorrect path and give you an answer that you would only arrive at if you did miss one of these key pieces of information. As a result, you want to be extra cautious and careful when reading these problems so that you can make sure you don't fall into these traps. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please click that like button and if you want to see more from the Scalar Learning Channel, make sure to click subscribe. Thank you guys so much for joining and I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.